Hi, my name is Nick, and I'm a graduate student at the University of Waterloo's SDIC lab, as well as the Wave Lab. I'm here at Clearpath Robotics working on a collaborative project involving rapid 3D mapping of indoor and outdoor environments. So this video will show you the results that we got using a um, 3D mapping kit from Mandela Robotics. I have this kit on left me here. So basically, it consists of a rotating mount for either 2D or 3D LiDAR. This LiDAR will be collecting the actual 3D point cloud data. It also has a mount for a horizontal 2D LiDAR. The point of this LiDAR is to perform things such as 2D mapping, um, any sort of navigation, um, obstacle avoidance, or anything really you want to use to help automate the process. It also has an onboard computer with a NVIDIA GPU for performing um, parallel computing, um, such as 3D scan registration that it uses. On the left of your screen, you can see ARP is running in ROS to visualize the data in real time. As you can see, it's plotted the first scan of the environment. It then moves forward, stops, takes a new 360 scan, and then continues moving. As it's moving, it's doing the 3D scan registration to overlay that new scan with the last scan. The 3D scan registration is the process of combining or stitching together two subsequent point clouds, usually a reference point cloud and a new point cloud. And this allows you to estimate the change in pose between two scans. It also allows you to build a map by adding new scans to existing scans. This process is achieved through running iterative closest point between two subsequent scans. Iterative closest point, or ICP, performs a closest neighbor search to match all points from the reference scan to a new scan. Subsequently, optimization is performed to find the rotation and translation matrices that will minimize this distance between the closest neighbors. By iterate, iterating this process, the results will converge to the true rotation and translation that the robot underwent between these two scans. This is the main process that Mandela Mapping uses to create this protocol. 